Hey guys, Jordan here, and in this video, I'm gonna be answering a question about flash for real estate photography. So let's get into it. All right, so if you're into real estate photography and are looking to learn about it, make sure to subscribe as that's what I talk about on this channel. And uh, today's video comes from a comment that I got on a video. I'll put it in the link in the description. Do you need an office for real estate photography? That was the video that the comment was on, but this is a question about um, flash. So John, thank you so much for your question. He says, may I get your opinion on something? I'm practicing shooting on my own home, my living room, not huge with a bay window. I'll fire two Godox 86, 862s, which are, I believe, speed lights, and he's bouncing them off the ceiling. But my windows always end up being, uh, end up on the dark side. The only way I get good clarity in windows is when I run the shutter speed up, so faster shutter speed with no flash. I think technically that would be, that would, I mean, a faster shutter speed would make it darker uh, with no flash, but obviously kills a lot of the ambient light in the room, uh, but get a real good variety uh, in the window makes sense. So I get the gist of your question, right? So you're using these flashes in, in the property or in, in testing it out and your, your windows are coming a little bit dark. Now, from my experience, you know, use a tripod, you can get multiple exposures. It's a lot of times it's hard to uh, get great lighting on the inside of the house. And like you're talking about killing some of the ambient, I like to get a good ambient, typically at zero exposure value. And then you can get a window window pool, usually or, or a window exposure, right? And that's typically around the negative three exposure value and uh, you can take that shot, you can take it with flash. Now, I typically like to do that flashing the room because uh, I can layer them and it makes the blend a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, you know, those flashes that you have are, are fine. It's just a matter of uh, the method of how you wanna go about getting it. Um, I think you might be using TTL or something like that with your speed lights. And you might wanna consider using it all manual. I don't know if uh, those 86, 860 flashes that you're using, or if your, um, your trigger setting is, is set to manual and not TTL, where it kind of, it changes your camera settings based on uh, the variables and how bright you want your flash setting, which is, is good in some instances, but if you want more control out of your camera, over your camera and what the end result that you're getting, you probably wanna shoot more in the manual fashion until you get very familiar um, with lighting and with your particular camera in general. So that's that's kind of my recommendation, you know, saying that you're losing the ambient. Get an ambient. Uh, get a flash where the interior looks nice and then get another exposure uh, for the windows and then just learn how to layer those in Photoshop and then uh, take different pieces from different images and create a, a beautiful real estate photography. You can't create a great image, a, a single exposure image with real estate. It's uh, a bit on the difficult side and uh, it can be, I guess, depending on the lighting uh, scenario of that particular um, room so and also the subject that you're shooting so hopefully that helps um, if you got value out of this video make sure to hit the like button we'll see you guys on the next one